set time to be holy. Speak of with thy Lord. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing. His blessing to see. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be. Thy friends in thy conduct, his likeness shall see. Take time to be holy. Let him be thy guide. And run not before him, whatever be time. In joy or in sorrow, still follow thy Lord. And looking to Jesus, still trust in his word. Take time to be holy, be calm in thy soul. Each thought and each temper beneath his control. Thus, led by his spirit to fountains of love, thou shalt soon be fitted for service aboard. Commit yourself to the Lord and commit the message that the Lord is bringing to you. The Lord will bless you. He will bless others. The Lord will give us his salvation. He will give us his salvation. The Lord will deliver us from our enemies. The Lord will lose those who are in chain. He will break the yokes of people that the devil has brought upon them. Yes, thank you, coordinators. You are able to feed the people. The Lord will feed you. The Lord himself will feed you. We are grateful. name we pray Amen. almighty father we bless you for the light that you are shining down from heaven upon our lives this light is our security this light is our understanding a divine we bless you because you want to give us full salvation and you want to protect us from satan oh lord divine may the word of god that comes to us today liberate your people in the name of jesus i am asking oh god as many as are under bondage to the devil as they cry to you their yokes will be broken in Jesus name my father the word of God will expose darkness and I'm asking darkness shall flee from your people as the light comes in in the name of Jesus we bless you for answering our prayers in Jesus name we pray Amen. we can be seated we are taking the message beware of mixed multitude and strange spirits among believers can we say it say it very 
very loudly. In the book of Numbers, Numbers chapter 11, verse 4. Numbers chapter 11 verse 4 to verse 6 and the mixed multitude that was among them fell a lasting and the children of Israel wept again and said who shall give us flesh to eat? We remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt freely. The cucumbers and the melons and the leeks and the onions and the garlic. But now our soul is dried away. There is nothing at all beside this manna before our eyes. I want you to give your heart I mean children of God children of God everybody say children of God actually they are the ones I'm talking to here although others are also hearing I trust they shall become children of God the children of Israel were coming from Egypt by the commandment of God under divine commander what was and what is his name Moses and many miracles have been done at this time the miracles that happened in Egypt that led to the death of Pharaoh and his army. The miracle of crossing the Red Sea. Various miracles of turning bitter water into sweet. So many miracles of preventing fiery serpents and wild beasts from hurting them. There was the divine presence of God among them. The pillar of cloud by day moving with them. The pillar of fire in the night among them giving them light. So there was sufficient presence of God to know they were dealing with the living God. But there were people that their heart were not aware they never judged things after the spirit they did not have spiritual understanding they judged things according to their sight what they see how they see it they judged things after the physical these people were among them and now the mixed multitude did a lot of damage to the children of Israel they did a lot of damage they influenced these people badly and many of the children of Israel died they hindered many from reaching the promised land the mixed multitude you will understand who they are. But just according to scriptures, we will understand them. In this circumstance, 
it was not the children of Israel that complained over the food angels food that came down from heaven the food came with grace the food was made by God it came with satisfaction for his children it tasted well for his children but this mixed multitude who were not children of God they began to taste after the food of the flesh and they influenced the children of Israel because they didn't have authority to come to Moses they didn't have authority to influence I mean to talk anything because they didn't have the power they were not children of Israel they influenced those who had the right to speak the children of God and they complained are you look at you people they're not giving you garlics they're not giving you onions they're not giving you cucumbers and you're quiet what is this thing that came down from heaven manna what is even this manna you're not talking how are you not talking go and talk go and talk the children of Israel said, Oh, we didn't even remember that. Then they rose up. Yes. Why? They, we want to eat garlics now. We want to eat onions now. We want to eat cucumbers now. We remember them in Egypt. Why did we even leave Egypt? And they began to complain to mama against God I've told you about this mixed multitude look at them better in Exodus chapter 12 Exodus this mixed multitude from verse 38 Exodus chapter 12 verse 38 let's take verse 38 and a mixed multitude went up also with them and flocks and herbs even very much cattle they termed this mixed multitude among animals and a mixed multitude they were not children of Israel went up also with them these were people of other tribes that lived among the children of Israel who decided to follow Israelites when they left Egypt to go to the promised land they were not children of Israel people of other nations some of them were even Egyptians some of them were even Egyptians they followed the children of Israel out of Egypt the walk is a spiritual walk. They did not align themselves to the spiritual walk. They maintained their physical. So that is how they left Egypt. They were not called. Jesus, but God called Israel according to promise. For he had told Abraham after 400 years I will bring out your descendants out of the country that they, they shall be in bondage to and I shall take them to their own land the promise of God was not for this mixed multitude the promise was not for them it was for the children of Israel so they were not children of promise they were not children of faith because it is after promise that faith comes into it faith is believing the promises faith is following the promises so these were not children of faith they were not so they came up among Israel and caused trouble among them today the mixed multitude in the church are the unbelievers 
living among believers in fact we shall describe them according to the following seven descriptions of mixed multitudes in the church number one they are not the children of God not born again they are in the church they are not born again they are not born again they heard that revival was going on somewhere that people could be healed people could be delivered people could be blessed and so they came not that they were born again they are children of born again parents who followed their parents to where things were happening things are happening so they are here not because they knew God no they are not born again that's the mixed multitude they are not children of God number two mixed multitude they are not called out of Egypt that is out of the world of sin and Satan they are still there in the world of sin and Satan they are still there they have not been called out of this out of their sin out of life with the devil you saw them in the ministry of Jesus they were following Jesus not they have not left Satan they say ye are of your father the devil makes multitude makes multitude not called out of Egypt not called out of sin they are still there in the world their hearts are still in the world their desire is still in the world their desire some of them could be preachers they are preachers even preachers among us here that their eyes are still looking to the world the Lord demonstrated showed a, a, a particular preacher that was following the road the narrow way still but the eyes are back there in the world they lost how how long how long a journey do you think this one can make his eyes are not looking toward the, towards this road narrow can he make it he will in, he will enter into the bush how do you think a driver can use reverse on a narrow road how possible how expert narrow road with all bends very narrow road that's how some of these people are doing they say they are holiness preachers they are following this holiness with, with their back their eyes are still in the world their thoughts are still there for where a man stranger is what happens to his heart there his heart is also mixed multitude mixed multitude number three they have no grace to exercise true love true humility patience peace and endurance they don't have that grace Hence, they are touchy. They mama and complain and are ready to fight. They have no grace. Because it is by grace we are called and by grace that we stand. The grace of God. That the Bible says we are kept by the power of God. As you see the sun in the sky, the sun is not hanging over on anything. It's not sitting on anything. It's just hanging like this electric bulbs. Let's assume there's nothing holding it. Now they are hanging, but something is, uh, there's a string attaching it to the other uh, wire. But is this, the sun is just hanging. It's the power of God. Kept by the power of God. 
the sun, the moon, the stars, the earth, that's the planet, they're just hanging. God just said, stand there. So it is this same power that is keeping us in righteousness. The power of his grace. It is we who have come into contact with God that have this power keeping us. The mixed multitude have never come to God. Therefore, the power of grace is not working in them. It's the grace of God that makes us what we are. It's the grace of God that gives us victory over sin. And this grace is not in them. And the Bible says that he that is born of the flesh is flesh. And he that is born of the spirit is spirit. It means there's nothing. All the effort of the carnal man. The righteousnesses of the carnal man. Not being born again. Not being connected to God. They are like filthy rags. Hence, they don't have grace for true love. The power is not there. It's beyond human energy. It's beyond human pretense. They, they try to walk on their face. But the face is not succeeding all the time. Some cases are stronger than they can bear. Mixed multitude. They, can, they don't have the grace for true humility. No. They manage, but they don't. All this humbling and even lying down on the ground and lie down flat and say, hey, 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 hey. After he lies down flat, he will abuse you for the reason why he is lying down before you. But did you ask him to lie down? It's humility. False humility. It cannot be original. He is not born again. The carnal mind cannot be subject to God. No, not at all. So, he cannot be truly humble. He cannot be patient. He cannot be patient with things. He will complain over the sun, complain over the shed, complain over everything. You are rejoicing and thinking things are okay. Hey, thank God for what is going on here. He is unhappy where he is here. Where did you invite me to a place like this where I cannot, no place to sleep well, you cannot even eat well. He is angry about everything. Wow! The grace you have, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have the grace to bear. I'm talking about this mixed multitude. The peace of God that, keep it, that keeps your heart in an unexplainable situation, in a hard situation, in a difficult situation. You still have peace. It is coming like a river. Peace coming in. Joy coming like a fountain that is coming from within. He doesn't have it. He's not connected to heaven. He doesn't have a file there. There's no register in heaven for him. Those supplies, uh, his name has not entered there. So he's not receiving them. He cannot endure. Hence, he is touching. Little thing touch him. A little thing will touch him. Touch his pride. His honor. I'm told of a man that attended a party. They introduced him. Hey, we are introducing Dr. So and so and welcome him. When he came, he said they didn't finish the introduction. They didn't, they didn't consider that he was chief. And he, was, he started to explain to them how he got his chieftaincy title, which must also be included in his introduction. That These are the things that appear. Giving the crown of his head as the 24 elders, casting it before the crown, before the throne. He cannot, he doesn't want to recognize any throne. He does not see any authority of God above his mixed multitude in the church. He's touchy. He complains. He's angry if you don't treat him well. If you don't treat him to satisfaction, he has no other God to fulfill the, what it means. He has no God to comfort him. Makes multitude. 
no God to comfort him. So, he will complain. He will fight. He will mama. He will baba. He will be looking around for who will he? Are there no people here that can hear me? Come judge it yourself. Are these people right? Makes multitudes. Makes multitude. Again, they are planted by Satan in the church to affect the true children of God. By them, many Israelites died. They never made heaven and they never made the promised land. So, in the church also, look at it. In the book of Matthew, chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13 the Bible speaks here about them in verse 24 to verse 30 another parable put it forth unto them saying the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field but while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tires among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up, Matthew chapter 13 verse 24. Now I'm reading verse 26. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tires also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, this not thou so good seed in thy field from which day hath it passed. Verse 28. Can you read the first line? He said unto them, An enemy hath done this. Can you see it now? The servant said unto him, Will thou deign that we go and gather them up? But he said unto them, Can we can we read again? Nay, lest while ye gather up the ties, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let the mean only, read verse 30, one, two, go. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first the ties and Bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. This is the God you serve, the God of wisdom, the God of understanding. Yes, he sowed good seed in his field, original people born again, just as you have people with evidence. People that bring forth fruit that show that they have repented. People with sweet life, humble. He told those people, if they slap you in one cheek, what should you do? Turn the other also. These were the people, he said, they're children of God. These are people that he said unto them, if you love only them that love you, what reward do you have? Do not even sinners do the same? Love your enemies. These are the people. Love your enemies. If anybody takes away your, 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 your cord, let him take away your clock also. If anybody forces you to go one mile, go the extra mile. This is the character that ye may be the children of your father. And by grace is sufficient for you in all the challenges of life, in all the hatred of life, in all the hardship of life, in all the battles of life, whatever the situation of your life, my grace is sufficient for you. This is the church. But they are among these people, a people called mixed multitude. The Bible reveals here they're not children of God, but the enemy planted them. The enemy planted them. They are among preachers, among the leaders, 
among the workers, among the members, among the newcomers. The devil planted them. What for? To live side by side with the genuine. To affect them with the nutrients. Take some. To mix their root together. In fact, they so mix their root that the wisdom of God says, don't mean to root them out. Some of them have so much intact in that the only thing is just be peaceful. I am taking action on them. If you want to take action now, you will cause confusion. You will cause confusion. If police dog trained to discover some type of people come in here, you will be surprised the people they will be discovering for you. Are you hearing me? You will be surprised. The dog will just hook on somebody and say, no, I'm not leaving this person. No, this is one of our leaders. I said, I'm not leaving him. <laughs> Hallelujah. They have so much sin, sin they root in, mix it up, that yes, let them put, they will push all of us. The lot of understanding said, leave them there. I will handle their case. God will handle their case. So, this is it. Again, talking about this mixed multitude. Number, number five, God knows them, but permits in them in his wisdom to live among his children. He knows them. Is there anything hidden before God? I am the Lord. There's nothing hidden in his side. Everything is made naked before him. Be, when uh, when Natalia was asking him, how did you know me? He said, before uh, Philip met with you, when you were under that tree, I knew thee. Before that time, God knows all things. The foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. You can deceive man, not God. You can hide it from man, not God. We have a God in heaven. Oh, King Nebuchadnezzar, we have a God in heaven that revealed secret. And before him, all things are made bare. That's what I am announcing to you. Great man in iniquity. Queen of the coast. I am announcing to you. You are very much made secret. Made open. Before the great God. He knows you. And he is doing something about it. It is in his wisdom that things look quiet now. It's in his wisdom. We were in Aquaibum for crochet in the month of October. October 9 to 12. When we landed in that place, we prayed violent prayer. Violent. And a revelation came to one of us that the queen of the coast came forth came forth of the water and said she just succeeded the queen of the cause that was there maybe I don't know whether that one died or whatever politics is going on <laughs> he said he, she sent her agents to holiness movement after us but the agent said the thing is not easy and the, the agent said the people have become aware of our activity please pipe, let us pipe down and give them time to forget we will never forget yeah. are you hearing what I'm saying yeah. until that kingdom is paralyzed among us yeah. until their queens and kings are converted and become true preachers among us yeah. But then she said, no, she must come herself. 
that no she can't listen to those ones so that is why she came herself we will see it in a she had come herself who is she that have come herself now do you see how powerless the kingdom of darkness is the queen of the court said she had come herself and it didn't work is it the agents that will be working hallelujah God knows them then number seven they are brethren now okay, okay number six they are brethren they are brothers and sisters they are part of this your brothers and sisters but are false ones and are injurious to the true believers look at it in Galatians Galatians we want to read chapter 2 verse 4 and verse 5 Galatians chapter 2 verse 4 and verse 5 and that because of false brethren on our wares brought in who came in privily to spy out our liberty which we have in Christ Jesus that they might bring us into bondage to whom we gave place by subjection no not for an hour that the truth of the gospel might continue with you they are brethren but false brethren now they are brethren they are holiness members if you want to talk about their dressing wonderful and complete from head to they are not palming their hair they are brethren they don't use attachment they are brethren they don't wear earrings they are brethren you won't see their fingernails very long no 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 they are brethren they don't paint their lips I said they are brethren they don't wear trousers as women no they are brethren all this body hog they don't put it on they are brethren but false brethren they give you what you are looking for so you can give them permission to reach over there and see everything to spare out spy out our liberty and see how they can bring us to bondage they are breathing meaning they speak nice words with laughter they smile their smile can attract any sister to know the will of God over them. They smile. They're very gentle. They're brethren. They're very gentle. They're looking for the zealous ones. And they will be attractive because they're brethren. They're very zealous. They're brethren. Very zealous. They, they are brethren. So they prophesy. Don't brethren prophesy. They are brethren, so they prophesy. They see visions, but they are false brethren. Not original. They have an aim. They come to they came to do some spying work. Spying work. And with an aim of seeing how to spoil what is going on here. They are experts. Some of them sent from other countries. They're coming to attend conference. Not for Jesus. Not because of Jesus. They're coming from very far. Not to repent. No. They are under assignment. Satan has told them a group has risen up. If you want promotion, go and affect any of their preachers. We shall promote it. There is where you get faster promotion. That's why they're here. They're brethren. So, that's what God wants to know. But wants you to know they are false brethren. Not true ones. Again, numbers what now? Number seven. Some of them were true believers 
who backslid from the faith and have become agents of Satan among believers as they live and minister among, among them. They were true people. Satan takes delight in a backsliding minister more than in a sinner because the backsliding minister is more useful. Already he has created a name. In an ori he has already created original ear. People have known him with truism, with, with truth. But now, backslidden and has changed lordship. He is no more of his party, but the party members are not aware. So, these ones, politicians love them a lot because they will feed them with all that is going on there and they will even be part of the planners planning the thing because the thing can be on his hand, in his hand they are brethren but see them now backsliders that have been taken over some of these great ministers that have gone to evil they were true Christians before true ministers I've told you make small titles but I also say, the message also says, strange spirits. Mixed multitude. The message goes on to say what? It says what? So, hallelujah. Yes. Strange spirits. Since the mixed multitude are not children of God. The spirit of God is not in them. No. It is the spirit of Satan. In the book of John chapter 8 verse 44 John 8 verse 44 Ye are of your father the devil. And the last of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. And abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. So, they have the spirit of Satan. And they go by these various titles. Familiar spirit. Very familiar. They know about the spirit. They cooperate with the spirit. They call the spirit my mother. My father. My wife. My husband. It's a familiar. That's why some of these people. When they come. They want to look for deliverance because the word of God has come to them but they are not, they are not sincere. Come. Uh, please, pastor, pray for me. What's the problem? I dream that I am flying. Flying to where? I dream that uh, uh, I, I, see, I see some people. I dream that uh, I stand near the river. I dream that it's not everybody that dreams that he stands near the river that is of the devil. Is the river not in this world? Have you not dreamed that you stood near the church before? Does that make you a Christian? Tell us you have familiar spirits. You should know. If you are possessed, will you not know? How many of you don't know that you are in Holiness Revival Movement Camp? Now, now, now. If somebody asks you where you are, you say, I don't know. Is there anybody here? Then how will you say you belong to witches and wizards and you don't know? That you are of mommy spirit, having familiar spirit. And you say you're not aware? That spirit doesn't come to say it's your husband, it's a wife. You mean when you go for a meeting, you don't know yourselves there? You know yourself. Everybody say you know yourself. Then, when you hide truth and you come forth for deliverance, can you be delivered? 
what is happening to you is gonorrhea you got it out of sin of immorality and you want treatment then you came to the doctor and said doctor is stomach ulcer stomach ulcer you don't know where it's happening to you is stomach also happening over there tell the truth the doctor will be giving you medicine for stomach ulcer why what is troubling you is gonorrhea how will you be delivered tell the truth and shame the devil and get your deliverance you are hiding the truth and you are gaining position you are gaining recognition as a Christian you have hid the truth and you have gained recognition it will become more terrible more difficult to own up to it the next thing is to just be content with your state because how will you tell the world they have made you a leader you delayed in telling the truth and the people are so hungry of getting a leader and met you one. How will you do it now? It will take grace. It will take real selflessness. You, it will take you giving up the world to say, no, I want to confess. So tell us the truth. You have joined occultism. You know them. They are familiar spirit. Familiar to you. Say them. Say so. Again spirit of divination spirit of divination in the book of Acts of Apostles chapter 16 Acts 16 verse 16 and it came to pass as we went to prayer a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination metals which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying soothsaying telling you about your future telling you what happened yesterday who the person in your family that died what made him to die Telling you the person that is doing harm to your life. Who is he? Spirit of divination. Divine. In fact, trying to predict your future. Is it in Benin City or wherever that this type of people decide, you know, their business got lost. People were no more coming. Customers were not coming. So the council is turn your divination industry to church simple is to build a building and put a cross there maybe with a bell to ring and employ a pastor and that's the business spirit of divination and now you see this same spirit is walking seriously in the world. Is tearing everybody. Everybody wants to know something secret about himself, about his family, about the husband, about the wife, about the neighbor, about the family, the father, mother, about the, his friends, and so on. In fact, something about the future. There is that hunger and thirst. That is going on now. That hunger and thirst has to be created so that their business can go on well. You're always interested. Prophesy. Prophesy now. Are they prophesying there? A particular person went into an office and saw a, a, a man of God sitting there and said, Man of God, do you see? I saw you coming. <laughs> I saw you coming into my office. And I say, you are welcome. I showed you a chair to sit on. And you're asking me whether I see? This will be sick of seeing. That's the spirit of divination. That is walking on, that walking on that person. It's a woman, I think. That is walking on that woman. Making her hungry. Go and inquire. Go and inquire. They go about spending their money. 
to hear things. Some of those things, demons know them. Devil didn't know who killed who killed that other person. Was he not the one that sent the person to kill? The herbalist that, that gave the charm doesn't have record. They keep record of everything. And if Satan asks for a record, they'll give him. A particular preacher said his own will appear. What Satan will say about you? As he's standing here, there's somebody there. You are from this place. He said the information will appear in his own phone, in his own handset. Like a text message. Yes, somebody is over there. This is a situation. Spirit of divination. And you're hungry. And you're not interested in the word of God anymore. Not interested. Hey. Some people will not say, hey, please, uh, somebody call me from Ibadan. Please, I, I, my name is this. Uh, please, I want you to tell me, tell Sister Linda, to find out whether our church, God recognizes our church. <laughs> I think another person, that please, you should pray and find out whether his name is in the book of life. Spirit of divination. Giving you hunger and thirst. For something over there, something kidding, something there, and as a result, you leave God. You're hunting of, over this information, not from scripture. Your mind is not in the scripture, your mind is on, on people that prophesy. People that prophesy. Or else you say, oh, No, this person has seen God. Mm. These little ones that we are bringing up, and the Lord gave them revelation, is enough that our prayers is not necessary again. No. He said, The person I want to pray for, he saw Jesus, is the one to pray. Seeing Jesus, didn't Judas Iscariot see Jesus? Does, has God left the principles of Christianity, the principles of power and righteousness? To go in after dreams and revelations. That if somebody saw a dream, somebody had a revelation, is now the answer. I say, spirit of divination. You're looking for something. There's hunger and taste. Not looking for the original truth. Not looking for the word of eternal life. Looking for something of the earth, sensual, to meet your needs. And since you cannot be born again, you have refused to give your life to Christ. And so God cannot minister to sinners. You use your money to pay them. You use your money to give them. So they can prophesy for you. You send gifts so that my name should be remembered. You have left Jesus. Spirit of divination. Again, we have the spirit of of witchcraft. These are strange spirits that are in the church. Strange spirits both in members and ministers. Spirit of divination. Now spirit of witchcraft. Acts chapter 8. Acts chapter 8. I read verse 9. The Bible says, let's read from verse 9. But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out that himself was some great one to whom they all give heed from the least to the greatest saying this man is the great power of God and to him they had regard because that of a long time he had bewitched them with sorceries spirit of witchcraft there is power the Egyptian magicians had power. When Moses turns the rod into the serpent, they also cast down their rods and they became serpents. They had power. 
Simon had power. Simon had power. And by his power, he had brought the whole community under control. And they did not see Satan in him. They said he was a great God. He was a mighty person. In far comparable to God. Or else, if it is not a, a, a great representative of God. Samaria. Simon the sorcerer. Using witchcraft. Exercising the power of witchcraft. To heal, to deliver, to prophesy, to do miracles, to bewitch the people. Bewitch. We will tell you what these people are doing. When the Bible says, beware of them, they have cast down many churches wounded. Yeah, many mighty assemblies have been cast down, have been brought down, have been abolished by them. They have been abolished by them. Yes. Spirit of witchcraft. See how common witchcraft is in the society. See how it moves from mother to daughter. Father to son. Father to daughter. See how they exchange hands in the family. See the present multiplication of witchcraft in the world. Satan has said, Oppression, cast them young. I mean, catch them young. Just be skit. A child is gone into witchcraft. Just be skit. A child is gone into witchcraft. He has gone beyond the, uh, that now. Blinking the eyes on a particular person is gone. Into witchcraft. I tell you more as we go forward. It's, it's everywhere. In the internet, if you want to join the witch, you will become a witch, they show you where to go to. You go and you make contract. You've become a witch or a wizard. And it's as if things are, things are favoring them because they are multiplying. If heaven will fall down, it's not upon one person's head. They have become many. Bewitching. And somebody now will come forth in holiness revival movement and say, okay, I am here first, so I'm the queen. Queen of witches and wizards in holiness movement. Every other person is under me. So, everybody must go and register under that person. As you come, they, they pick you and say, okay, go and register. Go and register. I'm telling you, you and your queen or king collapse is coming upon you right now. I mean that kingdom. We set fire on it. Hey. You will know that God God has been patient. God, I don't. God, God is jealous over where people are serious for Him. We are serious for Him. Is anybody pretending here? I mean, do we have any pretender here? Where you have hypocrites, you can go and operate there in the name of any church. But here we are original. Your kingdom must collapse. divine judgment will overtake you. You will be discovered. For there is nothing hidden before him. If you have operated in other places peacefully unnoticed to the extent that they promoted you, it's not only that they will derank you, they will put you inside on chain. Chain. I pray that you will be converted and become a true preacher. Hallelujah! So, we're talking about strange spirits. Now, we also have the spirit of fornication. The spirit of fornication. These are strange spirits. 
In the book of Revelation chapter 17 I read from verse 1 Revelation chapter 17 And there came one of the seven angels Which had the seven veils And talked with me saying unto me Come hither, I will show thee the judgment of the great hole that seated upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. She so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast. Full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her in her um, having the golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and the filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written Mystery, Babylon the Great the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth and I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus and when I saw her I wondered with great admiration and the angel said unto me wherefore didst thou marvel I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the great beast that, that, that carried her which had the seven heads and ten horns God is speaking from heaven. I say God is speaking from heaven. He said the spirit of fornication is among you. It's the spirit of a woman. The seated queen is mystery. Mystery. It is a mystery. And this woman has caused rulers, great men of the earth to drink of her fornication. Great people. She knows how to get them. She knows how to get them. Great people. And the Bible says this woman is drunken with the, with, with the blood of saints. People of God that gave their lives to Jesus. Men of God that gave their lives to Jesus. This woman had been able to get to this minister and humbled her, humbled them under her tie. It's a mystery. God says, I should let you know this. He said, I should let you know that many of your minister friends are under the tie of, of, of this woman. Many. She has humbled them. Samson was there. Samson was there. Delilah. They go by various names. Jezebel. They go by various names. They have drunk the blood of sins. People that were original. They have drunk of their blood. They have killed them and sent them to hell. Through immorality. And of the saints that, and, 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 and of the saints that will pass, that will stand against them and preach against them, they have tried and killed some of them because they're spoiling their business. The Lord says, "You tell you, they have killed some of them." Of course, thank God they preached until they died. They died because the time of their death came. Let not that woman take glory. Go and see the dressing of the woman. He carried me and I saw her seated. How she was dressed. Gold everywhere. Painting everywhere. Seduction. Seductive dresses. Everywhere. Exposing. This woman. She's here. But her power will not work here. When they send their daughters for customer. They, they, you see their dress. Naked dressing, naked, I mean, short skirts, tight clothing, torn skirts, daughters of hallows, 
daughters of harlots, daughters of harlots, under the power of Jezebel. They sit down, they open their tie. You think it's a mistake, they do it purposely. If you see them open their tie and are sleeping, it's part of it. It's not sleeping. Then walk. They are thinking how you will, they will scatter you, they'll carry you off. They're thinking, they're planning how they can get the preacher off. They wear their mini gown, mini skirt, and sit in the front and open up as the frog laid it for, for flies to enter inside. By that, they have destroyed many churches. By that, they have brought great assemblies down. By that, they have brought demons to churches to take over because smite the shepherd and the sheep shall scatter. The, the leader of the church has gone into immorality. When we were in worry, in one of these churches, to preach, I was preaching like this. The, 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 uh, behind me was a, um, uh, the, the altar was a raised altar. I was on the altar, on the, in the stage, preaching. Choir members were sitting at my back. They were daughters of Jezebel. With their short skates and opened up their place like this. Some of those ties they open by force because Satan said, Why are you not opening them? Open. You have dressed like him. He gave you that type of skate. Why will not, why are you not doing the business? If you don't do, because you're tired, he will help you to do it by force. Open. So that's why the choir sat there. And they, they, I'm sure they're they already finished with that preacher. It is not my type of preachers to have that type of choir. They have already finished with the preacher. They were waiting for new customers, including me, who came in there. <laughs> Amen? Amen? So, Jesus appeared in that place and visited our beloved brother Michael Sambo and, say, and pointed hand to those girls. Do you see what damage they are doing to my church? I'm going to deal with them. Now, he now showed him the congregation. Say, see this one. Do you see that man covered with darkness there? Those girls have put her in this darkness. Do you see that other person there in darkness? Do you see the other person there in darkness? They have spread this darkness. Because when you look into the tar. Your mind cannot balance. Is it everybody that is strong? The Lord will deal with them. Yeah. The Lord will deal with daughters of Jezebel. Yeah. You better go and resign. Tell the queen that you are no more part of, you are not her daughter. That business, you have left it because the judgment is higher than you think. What's the reward of getting that? What's the benefit of killing people? Sending them to hell? Can that deliver you from hell? Spirit of divination. Again, spirit of seduction. Spirit of seduction. In the book of First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 Sorry First Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 Now the spirit speaketh expressly That in the later times Some shall depart from the faith Giving heed to seductive Seducive spirits and doctrines of devils seducive not only unto immorality unto strange doctrine there is a persuasion going on in you that this teaching is not correct that seductive spirit a clear biblical preaching a clear teaching word of God with scriptures 
but there is a contrary persuasion a contrary mind going on in your heart don't accept it that's seductive spirit as a result teach anything you want he said, my, until I am convinced who will come and deliver you from seductive spirit who will come and convince you the things that needed convictions have been done and you still say you are waiting for conviction until God will show me by dream are you the, is it the idol you are keeping or the heavenly father who sends messengers to teach to, and says to them teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you as it is in scripture you say you want this God you are stubborn they let him come to me myself who are you are you greater than other men are you even greater than the ones that are in hell already you say oh no me until God will meet with me it's until you go to hell because you're under the power of seductive spirits that is giving you doctrines of devils making you to resist the truth making you to unbelieve you cannot believe the truth wow demon has blocked your mind if our gospel is be hid it is hid to them that are lost in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ which is in Christ Jesus should shine unto them seductive spirit you challenge the doctrines of restitution you challenge the doctrine of sanctification and holiness you challenge the doctrine of holy ghost baptism and speaking in tongues you challenge the gospel of total purity in the outward putting off earrings and chains and wedding rings rings and bracelets and painting your face wearing trousers as a woman you challenge it and you preach and say you don't see anything wrong you are under the influence of seductive spirit how can you see That is it. Strange spirits. Again, the spirit of disobedience. In a book, spirit of disobedience, in the book of Ephesians chapter 2, I read verse 2 and 3. Wherein in time past, Ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the ear, the spirit that now walketh in the children of disobedience. Children, it is a spirit that walks. All this opposition you see in the church is of a spirit. This opposition, this division that comes up in a church it is a spirit the spirit of disobedience stubbornness that women are manifesting towards their husband it is a spirit the name is the spirit of disobedience the rebellion that under shepherds people ministering under others are showing to their leaders senior pastors it is a spirit called the spirit of disobedience all these groupings that you see them factions in the church opposing one another fighting one another it's a spirit it's a spirit you don't agree with your pastor that's a spirit you are angry with your pastor you are angry you wish to squeeze him it's a spirit that entered in the spirit of disobedience if you were of God you will know patience if you were of God you will know humility if you were of God you will know endurance if you are of God, you will follow the way, the principle of God. The Bible says, if any man striveth for the mastery, he is not crowned unless he striveth lawfully. You will know how to follow it. He said, said, we're in a hard time. Beloved, we're in the, we're in the end time. This, this is the last days. We're in the last days. That's what God wants you to know. 
Demons are walking everywhere. Somebody say concerning concerning the, these demons. He said for every one human being, there are one thousand demons available in the world. For every one human being. That's what I read in, in one of these books I read recently. That there are one thousand demons. They're doing many things. That's why. Who are these? John was, the, the angel asked John, he said, thou knowest. I saw them in white robe. In white robe, he said, these are they that have come forth of the great tribulation. This earth, great tribulation. To come out of these demons, you must be very diligent. You must be broken. You must be able to discern and reject and deny yourself. Otherwise, before you know it, you are under the influence of demons. Before you know it, the demon, nature hates a vacuum. The demons will not leave you like that. Snatch just a little away from God, they have caught you. I mean, they have been watching. Let, throw some sugar cubes uh, around. Uh, although you're not seeing ants here, there are ants available. Give it time. Many ants, it, the way they speak, we don't know. But many ants will surround the sugar. Many ants will surround it. They're demons, spirits of disobedience. They're everywhere. All their thinking is how to bring destruction. For the thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Now, having heard this, why are we told beware? Watch out for the presence of these. Why? What do they do? They deceive people. The reasons, the reason why they are around is to deceive people. We were in Jalingo for a crusade, holiness movement. And because our beloved Sister and mommy Linda was going to testify there. One of these churches that had, the name of the overseer was called went and produced a CD of one person they arranged to tell lies. Oh, this lady is from the occulted world, it's the marine world. They produced the CD. As people just they stood on the way, just as people are entering here. Take, don't go and listen. It's a lie. It's from Mami Osa. Take, take. They came right into our midst and were sharing CD there. We are not aware. I'm telling you, you were preaching. You think they're hearing preaching? No. They have a reason why they're here. No. That's what I'm telling you. To deceive the people. They are looking for occasion to turn away somebody from the faith. Look at it. In the book of Acts of Apostles. Chapter 13. Acts of Apostles. Chapter 13. That's the reason why they are here. Their job. Verse 6 to verse 10. Let me read to verse 12. And when they had gone through the isle unto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was by Jesus, which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man who called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. 
But Elemash, the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, which stood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes upon him and said, O oh, full of all subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness, and he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. Then the deputy, when he saw what was done, believed. Being astonished at the doctrine of the Lord, why are they here? This mixed multitude. I've told you the enemy planted them. What did they come to do here? See what this one was planted in this office to do. Elemas the sorcerer withstood them. Everybody said withstood them. Be aware. There are people planted in your state, in your chapter, in your church. Their own aim is to withstand the preacher. Nothing more. Not because the preacher has done anything. That's why they send them there. They are breeding. No earrings in their ears. They are breeding. Very gentle in their speech. But the purpose of coming to that place, of joining himself there and walking very zealously, is to withstand the preacher of the true world. Withstood them. Again, number two, seeking to turn away from the faith. They are all effort is to turn you away from believing in Jesus for your salvation. Believing in Jesus for your deliverance. Believing in Jesus for your protection. Believing in Jesus for any reason. All they are there. And they do it in a very subtle way. They first came for, they are there for you. They, are there, they may even be the one exhorting you until they have gotten your attention. Seeking to, pre to prevent, to turn away the, dep the deputy from the faith. Turn away from the church. They have bad information about the church, even to the secret one. In fact, the new secret one. Oh, you say you are coming to holiness movement. Hey, we have been there long and we have not seen anything there. So, so we, me, I'm even going. It's in going that you are coming. Their own is to prevent you. Satan doesn't want your salvation. That's why they're here. That's why they're here. They can even tell you that the pastor committed morality with them. It's only that they don't want to declare it. That's why. Seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Yes. Again, what for? What are they doing? What are they doing? See, verse 10. Paul said in verse 10, Oh, full of all subtlety. They do it so wisely that let him that thinketh his standard take heed lest he fall. So wisely. How could Satan have succeeded in remove, removing perfect Adam and Eve from the garden? But how did he succeed in giving them a strange idea and enforcing it until they want they went against God. How did he full of all subtlety? 
they have cunning wisdom. You are sitting with people who are who they go on training. It's you who sleep, they don't sleep. When people are sleeping, you see them lying down, they're holding meetings somewhere. They're learning wisdom of iniquity. Hmm. If it's not by wisdom of iniquity, some of these people, their names have come up long. Even herbalists have called their name that they came to me for, for, for charm, for anointing. God has brought prophecies, divine revelations of all kinds. But the people say it's only them. They don't know any other body in Christianity. You think it is easy, full of all subtlety, cunning wisdom, craftiness. Their tongue is sweet. Some of them, they told them to take bath with honey. That as honey is sweet, so their tongue will be. Don't go and take bath with honey. It will not work for you. Are you hearing me? I don't know the details. I don't know why you even add to the honey. Add that can only ordinary honey make your mouth sweet. In your tongue, it's demonism. Demonism. So, Paul, what are they? Full of all subtlety and all mischief. <laughs> the man that is talking to you with all concern and interests is for your, dam for your damnation. How would you have felt that the doctor that looks so passionately over your child and is handling your child, putting on blood transfusion. The child needs blood. Please go and be like, oh, you don't have money. Don't worry, we'll do it without money. How are you thinking that that doctor is killing your child? Will you even imagine that? That is mean to sacrifice your child for his hospital. How will you ever think it? Full of all mischief. The thoughts are not right. The thoughts are not right. The thoughts are not right. The face may not show it. The tongue may not show it. But the heart is breathing like a snake. That's how Paul is describing them here. He said, Thou child of the devil. They are real children of the devil. As you boast that you are a child of God, they boast that they are children of Satan. As you boast that you are a child of God, they boast that they are children of the devil. I told you a story of one of them. When the child of God was preaching the gospel, he came across one of them and said, Hey, you know, give your life to Jesus Christ because the Lord is coming. If you, he would just sin and say, oh, Keep quiet. Keep quiet. I'm for Satan. I'm for Satan. Have you read your book, Revelation, that there's going to be a final war? The battle of Armageddon. During that war, we will overcome. Yeah. Eh, no, he was the one talking to this man, a child of God. He says Satan and his people will overcome. He was telling him that the reason why Satan lost the battle in heaven because, was because they, are not, they were not many. But now, the child of God should look around the world. They are all children of Satan. How can Jesus make it? <laughs> I, you know, I'm telling human beings, some, some, uh, maybe they are put, I don't know, some, four, from, some 666 has been put in their brain. They are boasting that they are children of Satan. They are, they are ready for it. Go and watch in the, in, the, in the internet. There are people who planted horns, original horns on their heads to look like Satan. They are for Satan. They write 666 in their body. So why, why, why is the time delaying? Where is the time delaying? They are for Satan. Some do some terrible teeth thing in their teeth so that they should look fearful. They are for Satan willingly I am telling you I am declaring to you that seated among us are people that are happily belonging to Satan the Lord says to tell you about it he doesn't want this movement to fail as other people fall um, as other people fail he doesn't want us to fail he doesn't want us to fail. That's why he wants the clear truth to be revealed. Because the Bible says, in vain is the snare laid in the sight of any bird. 
ye shall know the truth and the truth tell me that's where freedom is coming to you now yes that's what all oh, full of all subtlety and all mischief thou child of the devil thou enemy of all righteousness Any, anything that involves right doing they don't want it it's against them he that walketh in darkness hated the light lays his deeds to be manifest that they are evil they are against anything called good anything called good in, in, in Kano a Muslim man there said a Muslim that is a thief is greater in the sight of God than any Christian. Now, in that case, there is enemy of all Christianity. In any form, in any manner, he is against Christianity totally. 100%. If they can, the percentage can increase, he goes for the increase. That is how they are. That is how they are. Not for God. They are not here for Jesus. They are not happy with what I am saying now. They are not happy to see they come the way it is. It is progress. Where are they making progress? Where is somebody coming to do their welfare? They are not happy that you are giving money to support this place. If they know where you are, they will go and stop you or kill you. But they cannot kill you. I said they cannot kill you. I'm talking that we're in a battle. We are in a battle. Open your eyes and see and let your ears hear the sound of battle. If you have a husband that is like this, may God help you survive as Daniel survived in Babylon. All enemies of righteousness will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord they are perverters they are the ones that sponsor the perversion of the church they are the bacteria that eat up everything and cause it to ferment they are the ones that are causing the perversion of ministers they are the ones that are turning people away <coughs> When she finishes with this church, she's going to another. There are churches that hire people who play music to come and play music for them. When the, the man finishes music here, another church is waiting for him. He has, de de he has deposited some evil spirits. He is running to deposit it in the other church also. Quickly, let me deposit three pl places before the Sunday is over. You're hiring people to come and play music. Do you know them? You are looking for music. Say you are looking for demons instead. Not music. The Bible says lay hands suddenly on no man. And be not partaker of another man's sin. Do you know him? You are asking him to come and perform before the people. Do you know his life? Do you know the number of demons he's carrying? Is it in the voice? Is it in the voice? You sell yourself to music of demonized people they pervert the right ways they pervert the right people they pervert the right action that's who they are look at it again in Acts chapter 8 Acts chapter 8. You see what they do in the church of God. You see what they do. Acts chapter 8. Back again. 
on Simon the sorcerer from verse 9. But there was a certain man called Simon who saw before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out that himself was some great one to whom all the people gave him from the least to the greatest saying, This man is the great power of God to him they regard regard because that of a long time he had bewitched them with sorceries but when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ they were baptized both men and women then Simon himself believed also and when he was baptized he continued with them and wondered beholding the miracles and signs which were done now when the apostles which were at Jerusalem had that Samaria had received the word of God they sent unto them Peter and John who when they were come down prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost for as yet he was fallen upon none of them only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus then let the their hands on them and they received the Holy Ghost and when Simon so that through laying on of the hands of the apostles the Holy Ghost was given he offered them money saying give me also this power that on whomsoever I lay hands he may receive the Holy Ghost but Peter said unto him thy money perish with thee because thou, thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money thou hast neither part nor lord in this matter for thy heart is not right in the sight of God. Repent therefore of this thy wickedness and pray God if perhaps the thought of thine heart may be forgiven thee. For I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and in the bone of iniquity. Simon the sorcerer. Simon the sorcerer. See the activity of this man. The people consider this man a, a godly man he was among them the influence of Simon was over all the people in that society all the people Simon used witchcraft to arrest all the people he used witchcraft to arrest all the people he walked on the hearts of the people Simon used witchcraft to convince the people to believe that he was a, an, a, the answer to their pr problem he was the solution to their problem so that way everyone from the least to the greatest submitted to Simon again Simon bewitched the people with witchcraft hey. the evil of Simon the evil of a witch the evil of a wizard in the church in the church remember he is not a child of God and when the disciples came Simon was looking for anointing man of God lay hand on me and add to what I have so that I can have herbal spiritual authority. Witches, wizard, spiritual anointing. Join them together and be higher. They look for position. They look for position because it will give them proper sitting. When this higher power demonstrated by Peter and John had not come, he, he was already ruling the city. He wanted to rule a greater sphere. So he needed more power. What was Simon doing? He, Simon cast spell upon the people. The spell of witchcraft. There are many churches today that are under the cobweb of witchcraft. The witch has already spread his cobweb around it everybody is under it it has already cast a need in fact the church is a, is a zoo because it is surrounded by barbed wire run about enemies cannot overcome I mean animals cannot break through so they are there thinking they are free they are under witchcraft covering that is what they have done many congregations um, I fear including your own 
in I fear including your own I am afraid not that I say your own is there but I, I'm thinking maybe yours is there they have taken over all your operating in that place is under witchcraft the seat that you are sitting there have been anointed by witches the altar they hang something there and bury something underneath everything is under witchcraft Simon you think it's a simple thing that the Lord is revealing this thing for you it's because the Lord wants this movement it's his own, he says it's his own did he tell you like that it's not for man that's why he's telling you this it's his own what is Simon doing he bewitched the people I'm telling you that's why we're fighting leaders you must open your eyes these people already some of them are like you they are looking for how to initiate you they are looking for how to bring you to witchcraft they are busy initiating people a woman cooking in in, in one of the a, a, one of the churches that are doing very well she is the chief cook there I mean, she was the chief cook there I have pastored that church myself some years ago in the 90s I am told which means even when I was there because if they say 12 years ago was I there 12 years ago I can't remember that if this was so it means even when I was there but I cannot remember I can't calculate well now she was busy poisoning the food of the leaders during meeting like this I'm telling you they were sent for a purpose they are sent that's where all this food pray well. these ones that are selling food over there pray on them very well in the name of Jesus every poison shall be cancelled yeah. my wife will come and tell you tomorrow more and more are you hearing me pray on the devil he has gone far Satan has gone far Satan has gone the battle is fierce they want to initiate great men into witchcraft. This prayerlessness that you are talking, you are doing, and you are talking little thing. You are angry. You want to fight. You do you know that you are being monitored? The worst thing is that in a short time you will be in witchcraft. When they see you like this, eh? When you find yourself, say, eh? Where am I here? Eh? What is this place? Eh? The queen of the courts will come. And, oh, you are welcome. Hey, my son. You are, me, son, your son. Uh, but when it started with anger and bitterness and forming clique, they were forming clique, they were calling you to offer your opinion, you were doing it. They, they walked on, before a snake swallows something, he has to break all the bones and arrange it well. Salivize it well. So, when all these murmurings were coming, when they were forming clique, cliques, and they were biting, gossiping. I am man of God. My, you will find it to great surprise that a woman came to meet with my wife, Sister Linda. We, some, uh, some of us in the church have been praying that you should die because you got married to the international director. You, you think that uh, we think who we're talking this you are playing? Why do you want her to die? It, it seems she's blocking the walk. She's blocking this walk. Maybe she's seen too much. Even without her, where did I fall? The one that keeps me is God. And yet you say, "Are they holding this movement proper?" How many are sorrowful because she got married to the international director? Sorrowful or even unto death? Why? With all the revelations God gave, with all the testimonies everybody gave, with all the facts, and with all the evidence from how, for all this period, you are a mixed multitude. You are among them. Otherwise, even if you were deceived, 
even if you fail wrongly time and event would have shown you that no God is here time and event would have shown you when the people saw the snake hung upon Paul viper they said no this man is a guilty man this man is a guilty man that is why although he escaped the sea justice could not could not uh, uh, abandon him he was still caught by the snake but uh, he shook his hand and the snake fell into the water onto the fire he still sat still after some time what did the people do they changed their mind if it is not god the human being no human being can be like this why have you not changed your mind why have you not changed your mind it because you are a sworn enemy of righteousness that's what we want to let you know so Simon was bewitching the people I don't know whether you hearing me now have gotten witchcraft you never had witchcraft before you now say my own witchcraft it was when I came to holiness movement you were careless you join a clique you join a clique you joined a group you, join, you say they are leaders or they are anointed people. They are anointed prophets of the devil. And you were not prayerful. Satan, uh -uh, the, the rain will start with wind. When these things were coming around, did you not sense the devil? When you were bringing, <laughs> you never had the, saw the devil there until they carried you into witchcraft. I pray you will bring back yourself. A particular minister in Lagos. So he's, he was laboring for years. No, I, his church was finding it difficult to grow. But then, here was his neighbor who just came, a, a church around him. People were going there with cars, with this. Ah, ah. But he, he now made friends with that man. My brother, how did you make it? You know, I need your anointing. <laughs> you need anointing of witches and wizards? I'm sure he troubled the man so much that the man decided to take him into his secret. It's okay. You want the anointing. It will happen. It will happen. It, so let's hold our hands. As they held their hands, they said, Master! Master! They appeared in the water. Be careful. Walk with care. The fact that we made them coordinators. Yes, we expect them to be righteous, but we're still watching if there are any witches and wizards among our coordinators, they are in trouble. The one that entered through the window, they say, bundle him. Do what? Bundle him. And get him out. Into utter darkness. Because this, you couldn't be so stubborn that, even if we are making mistakes to make you coordinator, why did you agree? It's a sin. That's what he means. This place must not be given to witchcraft. It must not. If therefore any of these leaders is telling, telling you another thing, carrying you into another, before the place becomes dark, immediately you'll be seeing darkness, cry out and say, I was never at any time sold to you. The way I'm going now, I'm going to darkness and I cannot take it. Save your soul. Our eyes are upon them and our ears are hearing to ensure that they are righteous as we believe they are. As we believe they are. And you too must be righteous as we have taught you. If you want witchcraft, it's not here. When the enemies came to see Elisha in Jotan, in Jotan, in Dotan, he said, No, it's not here. The person you are seeking for is not in this place. No, it's not here. Come, let me take you to where you're looking for. It's Samaria. It's not here. <laughs> so, it's, witchcraft is not here. That's not the place for it. The fire of the Lord will quench every aspect of witchcraft. You think you can come in here and bury something in this place? It will not germinate. How many of you marched around this place yesterday? Everywhere the soul of your feet shall tread, I have given it unto you. We have already possessed this place. You can't do it.
God and devil cannot share this place. That's the word of God. So, Simon was looking for power. You see how close you know these people. They don't, the Bible, they don't know that the Bible, can, the Bible knows everything. He, they, Simon was one of the closest converts to John and Peter who came with the Holy Ghost. That if John and Peter were to appoint people by the flesh, they will hand over the church to Simon. In as much as Philip is not going to stay in that place. Simon was a, a productive convert, very zealous. He was not more sleeping at home. He was going with the disciples from place to place, rendering service, laughing, hey, saying hallelujah, hey, praise the Lord, oh, wonderful. Is Simon? Uh, he is who? If you hear the type of hallelujah Simon makes, but it's Simon looking for position and power to be handed over to him so he can have a greater privilege properly and by the backing of the name of God and apostles of Christ to do all mischief and to oppose righteousness to the full degree how did Catholic come to be the way they are it's only through the hands of men how did this other church start collapsing it's through the hands of men So, now, you have had this thing. Watch out that your members are not initiated. Check out on your leaders. Check out on your leaders. The power they use, the power of prophecy, to ensure that it's not by divination. Check it out. The gifts of the spirit exercise must not be by the devil. This must be well checked. Now, we want to finally come up. Philippians chapter 3. Philippians chapter 3. The Bible tells us in verse 1 and 2. Finally, my brethren, Rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you, to me indeed, is not grievous, but for you it is safe. I've not said this thing to make you afraid, to make you know as if you would fall. No, rejoice in the Lord. This truth has come, it will save people. I say it will save people, it will make you sensitive to your dreams sensitive so you can hear the voice of God better as you shall hear a word behind you saying here is the way so rejoice that you are Christian that you have been delivered for the world is wicked but you have been saved but then he says beware of dogs beware of evil workers Beware of concision. Beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers. Beware of concision. Those who are doing circumcision after the flesh, they are busting after the flesh. They are dogs. They say they are Jews. The uh, devourers of the faith of the faith. Beware of them. Why beware? Beware means live in consciousness of their presence among you. Live in consciousness that there are a set of people like this. As we are now conscious that there is a set of people called Boko Haram. The consciousness has entered into this nation. There are a people called this. Be conscious also that there are people in the church, they are brethren, only they are false ones. To every leadership cadre. And some churches are started by them. They go and found their churches. 
all and do everything for their breeding cheap preachers but they're false ones they do everything to welcome you and but they will ensure every righteousness is removed from you a brother told me of a bible college built in one of these european countries is it america i think it's american countries american one of the states in america the bible college gives scholarship to people to go there free to sponsor you it's a bible college to sponsor you get you over there and take care of your feeding but in the bible college it is a it's a mystery if you're not taking alcohol in the bible college you immorality is promoted they bring these blue films for you to watch watch wicked eyes for wonders they carry you on tour all immorality sin every they just pollute you enough before they send you back to africa you come back with a certificate you finish from bible school and these churches who feel that until a man finish from bible school he cannot be a pastor they say yes you are the one we're looking for you have certificate you went to bible training you are now the one that will be our pastor oh good satan has prepared him properly he will be your pastor not a single person will go to heaven in that church his own theological college was not for people to go to heaven it's anti-heaven anti-righteousness beware of dogs beware of dogs beware of circumcision concision those who say we are all, we are fair we are of abraham we are circumcised christianity belongs to us god belongs to us and they're using the flesh to boast the occupied position beware through the flesh be, be aware that they are there watch out for their activities they will struggle they will struggle to do something among you watch out for their activities understand their aim in the church of Christ not for Jesus when you see these girls in their polluted dressing you say, no 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 don't talk to them they will go away they can hear the word of God and become born again please know their aim that they are not coming there to be born again in fact if they get born again they, they will deal with them so they are not ready for born again if you see them take action to save your church if you see these naked women take action to save your people Amen. if you think the less be patient for born again eh, eh, while we are getting patient if she's sitting in the front carry her to the back and make sure there are sufficient women covering her for that day and tell her when the service finishes tell her that uh, please uh, oh, you love this church you say, uh, but don't dress like that again not this way if you dress like that we will not take it because you are coming even if we get you converted many people would have died before your conversion it's better we lose you than lose a hundred people is that so? understand their aim in the church of Christ. Know that their loyalty is to Satan and not God. Know it. Then why will you be sympathizing to your, to your, with your enemy? Can Paul be dealing gently with bad Jesus, Elevas, whose loyalty is with Satan, or enemy of, or not even of 50% righteousness, all righteousness. Are you dealing gently with such people? People who are coming up and argue, making up some argument to confuse other people's faith. You don't silence them to sit down there. He say, hey, no, deal with so that they don't run away. Oh, you want them? Okay, take, you can take um, a can and go, but God will not be there. But you are going to die in the battle. That's the word of God. Mark their false zeal. Zealous? Don't appoint somebody to leadership because of zeal. 
but because of truth, righteousness, and the guidance of God. Mark their false zeal. Woman, do you know how that man loved you before marriage? Is the love still there now? You're even looking surprised. What really happened? If you see how this man was loving you, the man will come and sit down. I was cleaning the dust on the dust on my feet. I said, this type of man that can clean dust in a woman's feet like this. If you marry this woman, this type of man, the man will even cook your food. He said, yes, I will cook food. <laughs> Mark that false zeal. False zeal. Check up. Of, ask God whether this one is original or from Satan. God will be faithful to tell you. Watch out for their struggle for leadership. They will want to be the leader because it works better to be on top. It is when you're on top, you act better. You are fully represented. And besides, they are looking for rank. Listen, a person can play great evangelistic zeal, but it's of the devil. He is donating much money for the work of God, but it's of the devil. He's suffering hazard. They're even persecuting him. Seriously. But it's of the devil. You begin to wonder. Ah, but oh, you mean, no, don't tell me that this person is of the devil. If you see how much he's suffering for Jesus, if you see how much he's giving for Jesus, if you see how much he's doing this, you think that he's doing that if or not? By that type of lie, by that type of display, he has won the confidence of so many into to him. She has won the confidence of so many to her that when she initiates them, it will be easy. It will be easy to initiate and pass witchcraft forward and go and get her promotion over there. It will be easy. It will be very easy because the people have confidence on her. The people who have confidence on him. But I know this man now. Huh? My father in the Lord. My mother in the Lord. Watch out. If you have come to Christ, learn to live by faith. For the just shall live by his faith. Little thing, my father pray for me. Hey, brother, brother, lay hand upon me. Don't allow anybody to lay hand suddenly on you. Amen watch out for occultism in any level watch out as the person is showing love be asking God whether it's genuine ask God how much percentage of yourself you should release be sure not that we say we should doubt one another no we are still coming up with another message for you but we are saying be balanced in your faith as there is God so there is Satan both are working. So, be balanced. Study their acts well. Let it not be that it is Satan that is using the hand of righteousness. Righteousness, but it's superficial. There is, a, there is snake, there is rat. Both have the similar noise, void. Is that so? I almost caught a viper thinking it was rat. In the, on the a bush. I came very close to it to look at it. A thought said, just put your hand there. Grab it there. Another thought said, let me see it properly. Let me see it properly. May God make you see it properly. Before I saw the thing was a viper, I said, fly me away from this place. So, your duty against them is fervent prayers spiritual warfare and righteousness fervent prayer praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit watching there too with all perseverance praying always praying always and cannot climb a hot pot Keep yourself hot. Keep yourself hot. 
The devil cannot make it through you. Their food will not work in your body. Their drink will not work in your body. Their clothes will not work in your body. Anything, the powder, the spray, the sprinkle on the glove, anything shall not work in your body. Pray. 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 Beloved, believe not all spirits, but try the spirit. Check up properly. Revelation gives anything manifest. All these many of these demonic people have risen up now and are giving you testimonies. Jesus appeared to me. Hear it well. Verify it properly. Check it up well with the Bible. Listen also to people that the Lord has given them special grace on this area. Yes. Take note of the fruits manifested in the life of, of a person. For ye shall know them by their fruits. You will know them. Check them. And you that are so angry, don't confuse people. They will abandon you because that's the fruit of witchcraft. Little to you are angry. Your eyes are hot. I, I can pull down things. That's witchcraft, oh. Let them not watch you and avoid you. That's why they say, they, you know, Jesus said, no, 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 if I say you should go and root out those things, you will affect the genuine one too. I know some believers can have that infirmity of anger. Walk on yourself. If it persists and the people see one, two, three times, they, they will avoid you. And the scripture will back them up. Walk on that anger. Walk on that malice. That fierce face. Terrible words, lying tongue. Work on yourself. Otherwise, it is like witchcraft. Design people by the spirit. There are people God has helped to see people and detect them. Or God will reveal people to them in dream. To tell them that nothing is hidden except God doesn't want to reveal you. Except God doesn't want to reveal you. Otherwise, He will reveal you. You think you're sick? <laughs> there is this animal, alligator lizard. If you pursue it, it will carry his head and enter into the bush and feel that it is hiding there. What about your tail and your, bo your body at the back? Me, I'm not seeing my back. <laughs> you are not seeing your back but we are seeing and we know it is you so God has designing spirit that he has given yet we are careful be careful that you don't say yeah I am a designer and you begin to design children of God and that they are witches and wizards you will be offending God and that design is not from God there can be mistakes. There can be mistakes. There can even be falling into sin by a child of God. But be rejoice not over me, O my enemy. Though I fall, what will happen? I shall arise. So don't calculate everything. I'm telling you this. Just keep it at one side of you. The Holy Spirit will quicken it when it is necessary. We tell you, okay, this one is that type of preaching you had. Check this one. But it's not that you apply to everybody. Amen? Amen? Yes. Listen to their weights. You will see themselves revealing their words. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak it. Dissociate from them. If you see them, if you have known them, if they manifest their acts trying to persuade you dissociate from them I will read that then we will say the last thing and pray together Romans chapter 16 the Bible tells us in verse 17 and 18 now I beseech you brethren mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have heard and do what? 
avoid them mark them don't live freely and allow sinners permit their sin freely talk freely but by gossip freely among you avoid them for they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ but their own belly and by good ways and fierce speeches deceive the hearts of the simple they that are such are not for Jesus they have nice ways to speak but remember they are deceivers so take care of yourself and finally report them one others of them report them one others about them God gave revelations warning people about some preachers people say hey, why didn't you go and meet with them it's God that is doing it is God that said do it whoever the Lord has spoken let him do as God said because he's a messenger of God that will give account back to him warn them report them expose them if you knew them and keep quiet you are like them you knew them you knew the immoral woman among us that is feeding people with immorality and you keep quiet and say no I don't want anybody to blame me you are going to hell and your hell will be worse than his own because his own is Satan that used him and maybe he had even really been trying to come out of Satan he doesn't know how, but you is God you hate that, that's why you saw people spoiling his own church you said nothing you hate him the Bible says if you see your enemy's animal going astray, you should bring it back to him. If even your enemy, God is even worse your, than enemy to you. That's why you saw his church going astray into the hand of an evil man and you kept quiet. You never helped God. That's what it means. Expose them. Reveal them. And you lead us. You say, eh, I'm afraid I don't want people to know. Then you are not of God. You are not of God. The zeal of the Lord is not in your life. You cannot bear to fight to see anybody spoiling the church of your father. You can't. You go home, you visit your village, and a particular person entered into the backyard directly behind the house where your father stays and excrete there, and you saw it, you allow him to go. It's not that the place is dirty. He just for whatever reason. He's created right there, right there in a plain place behind where your father stays. You don't say, hey, come here, come, come, come here. You say, no, 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 no. I don't want them to know in this village that I am a bad man. Angels of God know that you are. God knows that you are. You are not a true child of that man. Your, his heart, your heart is not on him. You can't defend him. Defend God. Defend God. Defend God. Rise up upon your feet. I'm a soldier, soldier of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I shall come. Hallelujah. We are soldiers, soldiers of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, we shall call, hallelujah. Tell God you are ready to fight for his name. You cannot allow pollution into the house of God. You are ready to challenge the devil for the name of the Lord. You will never allow wickedness into the house of God. Hey, 
it cannot be done. Open your mouth and tell the Lord it cannot be done. It cannot be done. It cannot be done. It cannot be done. Tell the Lord. It cannot be done. Tell the Lord. Pray, 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 pray. Who he has called, he has equipped. Open up your mouth and speak to the Lord. Lord, I am an instrument in your hand. Use me to fight for your church. Open up your mouth. As you have said to his hearing, so will he do for you. Open up your mouth. He has given you a mouth. Lord, I'm available. It is by your grace I am here today. Use me. Use me. Use me. Use me. Use me. Lord, we are here today. Use us, Lord. To depopulate hell and populate heaven. Open up your mouth. Enough is enough. In the house of God, enough is enough. It must come to an end. All the workers of iniquity must be exposed. All witches and wizards must be exposed. All strange spirits must be exposed. Open up your mouth. The Lord is here. He is here in this place. He is here in this mouth of transformation. Open up your mouth. He is here in his camp. As you have said to his hearing, he will do it for you. He has given you the power in Luke chapter 10 verse 19 to trample upon serpent and scorpion and over every power of the enemy and nothing, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Hallelujah. Open up your mouth. Speak to the Lord. He will do it. That is his heart desire. That is why you are here today. That is why he has called you. Open up your mouth. Speak, 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 speak to the Lord. Are you here? You are here because he has called you. No one can come unto the Lord except the Father who has sent me draw him. The Lord drew you to this place to be used. He's created you to be used by him. Open up your mouth. Speak to him. Lord, I am here. Father, I am here. Lord, I am here in your presence. Use me. Use me in your church. Father, use me. Lord, I am here in your presence. Use me. Speak to him. Speak to him. Speak to him. Lord, use me. Use me. Use me in your church. You have opened up our understanding today by your servant, Lord, that you are using to open up our eyes to spiritual things. You have taught us today about the strange spirit. You have taught us, Lord, King of glory, Lord, use us to expose them, to deliver your children. Use us to deliver your children all over the world, to affect your churches all over the world, to destroy every spirit from the married kingdom, to destroy Lord, use me, use me, use me. Father, use me. I am here to be used by you. I am here to be used by you. I am ready, Lord. Well, send me, I will go to deliver them. Oh, send me, I will go to save mankind hallelujah send me i will go to 
believe I bear. If you send me, I will go to save my God. Jesus send me, I will go to deliver them. Oh, send me. Amen. One of you shall chase a thousand. And two of you shall do what? Now that we are more than two, we can't tell the number of thousands now. But we must chase them. I say we must chase them. Now, all powers of witchcraft, powers of occultism, powers of mommy kingdom, powers of the queen of the coast, powers of Simon the sorcerer, powers of Jezebel, the powers of Delilah, they must crumble. They must crumble. They must crumble. In the name of Jesus. Raise up your hands before the Lord. We are praying agreement. We are praying agreement. Almighty Father, we are praying for the fire of God. The fire of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Almighty Father. All powers of the devil. All powers of witchcraft. All powers of the marine kingdom. In the heaven above. On earth. In the sea beneath that want to stand up against holiness revival movement. I say let them crumble. Angels of God should take their position. We release destructive power over the devils, over the forces of the devils. I say get destroyed. I say get destroyed in the name of Jesus Almighty Father the strong man that Allah is guiding his property keeping others in bondage we buy him right now in the name of Jesus. All property of witchcraft in your body. The one in your stomach. The one in your blood. The one on the hair of your head. The one on your cloth. Fire! 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 In the name of Jesus! 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 I say fall down! I say fall down! I say fall down! I say fall down! And be destroyed! And be destroyed! And be destroyed. We break your power. We break your power. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He has given us victory. Hey. Oh yeah, Jehovah. I say he has given us victory. Oh yeah, Jehovah. 
I said, He has given us victory. Oh, don't play music, Jehovah. I say he has given us victory. Oh yeah, Jehovah. I say he has given you victory. Worship him. Oh yes, Jehovah. I say he has given you victory. Oh. Oh yeah, Jehovah. I will lift him. I say he has given you victory. Oh yeah, Jehovah. Worship him, worship him. I say he has given you victory. Oh yeah, Jehovah. He has given me victory. Oh yes, Jehovah. I say he has given me victory. Oh yes, Jehovah. I say he has given me victory. Oh yes, Jehovah. Amen. Amen. Give a clap offering of victory. Give a clap offering of victory. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Oh, glory to his name. Glory. Amen. Jesus has done it. Jesus has done it. Amen. Amen. Just lay hand upon your body. Lay hand upon your body. Any sickness the devil brought there, any satanic planting that witches and wizards brought upon you through poisoning, through attack, through eating in the dream, through any contact, judgment is coming now. Destruction is coming now. Fire is coming now. Any spirit of initiation that has initiated you and wants to use you in witchcraft to affect other people, that power shall be melted. In the name of Jesus. Almighty Father, you say these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out devils. Oh Lord, they shall lay hands upon the sick, the sick shall recover. They shall pick up serpents, it shall not hurt them. If they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Right now. I lose every man, every woman, every child that is bound by the devil, bound by witchcraft. Let your yoke be broken in the name of Jesus. Any injection of the devil. Fiery dart of Satan into your body, your eye, your stomach, your ear, your chest, your boom, your flesh, anywhere. Get out now. Get out now. Get out now. I destroy them now. I destroy them now. I destroy them now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let those things come out. I say you sicknesses come out. You satanic plague come out. You power of poison come out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
I rebuke you in their bodies. I rebuke you in their families. I rebuke you in their lives. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let them be loosed. My Father, let them be loosed. My Father, let them be set free. Receive freedom. Receive salvation. Receive salvation. Receive deliverance. Receive your miracle. Receive your healing. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be delivered. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production, and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages, or inquiry, contact us on 0813 and 0805 you can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe
believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe in you. I love you. I love you. I believe. I believe.